ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, get ready for the Game Awards 2022. So let's get started. Could the oldest building blocks for life ever discovered on Earth at 2 million years old hold the key to saving our planet from the climate emergency? It means it's twice as old as previously been recovered. It's also DNA of, you can say, an ecosystem. So it's not only DNA from one organism. That's Professor Eska Willisliv, who says the team not only found ancient Arctic DNA from Greenland's frozen trees, flowers and bushes, but something else. We find uh, DNA from both hair, but also uh, an ancestor of reindeer. We find it from the so-called mastrodons, which are these extinct elephants related to mammoth, woolly mammoth that most people know, but it's, it's slightly different. It was a forest animal. So how can this help us understand and hopefully fight climate change? In Greenland at that time, the temperatures have been something like between 11 and 19 degrees Celsius warmer than today. So it gives us an insight, well, how do nature respond to such changes? It really suggests that we are very bad right now at predicting what will be the biological consequences or ecological consequences of climatic changes. Professor willis is on a research team with colleagues from Cambridge University and the University of Copenhagen. Together, we are making healthcare accessible to everyone in this country. I don't understand how you're doing this extremely complex chemical engineering with a high school degree. Fans of Hulu's miniseries The Dropouts, there might finally be a conclusion to the real-life story. Because former Theranos executive Sonny Balwani has been jailed for nearly 13 years after his early conviction of 12 counts of wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Balwani was the business partner of the failed and fraudulent blood testing startup's founder, Elizabeth Holmes, who was earlier sentenced to over 11 years in prison during the trial in San Jose, California. Balwani's lawyers claimed that Holmes was the more culpable one for the con, and both of them are planning to appeal their sentences. Next, the US state of Indiana is suing TikTok's parent company over claims it failed to protect young users from inappropriate content. Two lawsuits have been filed against Bike Dance over accusations the company breached laws protecting consumers. One claims that TikTok is not doing enough to keep youngsters away from harm on the platform, while the second reheats the ongoing allegation that the company is not revealing what kind of access, if any, China's government gets to user data. Bike Dance is yet to comment. Next, you will definitely want to check out some newly remastered, and it should be said stunning, images showing the last Apollo 17 moon landing in super detail, but with a twist. Because if you thought the moon was just a muted grey colour, think again, because these shots reveal flecks of orange in the lunar rock. Hundreds of images have been polished up in 2022 high-def detail, showing what Apollo 17 astronauts Gene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt saw during their 1972 mission. The images were remastered by Andy Saunders, a British author who sifted through more than 35,000 pics to find 400 to feature in a new book. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, Game Awards 2022 and a pause on police plans for killer robots for now. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. Put down the controller, turn off the headset because it's almost time for the winners of the Game Awards 2022. All will be revealed on Thursday and the standards compiled its own Game of the Year for 2022, which includes a few of the awards nominations. So what's been enjoyed by ES Arts and Culture writer and commissioning editor Vicky Jessup? My pick would probably, on a personal level, be Horizon Forbidden West. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. That's basically set in a futuristic world where robots, dinosaurs roam the Earth and humans exist in primitive tribes and for resources they hunt down these robot dinosaurs. At the same time, a certain chirpy Italian plumber is nominated for Mario and Rabid Spark of Hope. We are now approaching our destination. Oh. But what's the enduring secret of this near 40-year-old Nintendo legend? 
people like games really that they can play with friends and family you know they don't have to invest years of their lives into they're not these like horrendously long games you can dip in and out of them it's like beloved characters changing the formula and keeping it simple if you want to tune in the game awards is being streamed live on thursday evening if you're in the u.s or just after midnight over on this side of the pond the London Eye, that's the superstructure originally planned as a temporary attraction, is set to become a permanent feature of the capital skyline for decades, if not centuries to come. The operator of the Ferris Wheel, the leisure group Merlin Entertainments, wants to keep the attraction at the South Bank after 2028 in a new planning application. The Millennium Wheel, as it was first known, was officially opened by former PM Tony Blair on the 31st of December 1999, with a five-year lease, which was later extended. And finally, the streets of San Francisco will, for now at least, be clear of killer robots. The city's police have shelved plans to allow machines with guns, would you believe it, to be used in extreme circumstances. In what's got to be considered by most humans as a terrible idea, legislators had wanted to give officers access to these kinds of killer droids, basically like Robocop. But following an understandable outcry from civil liberties groups, it's now been voted unanimously to pause the plans. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Leader from the Evening Standard here in London. And Tech and Science Daily is back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.